It all started when I was doing an internship on a remote island off the coast of Borneo. I had sensors which were measuring rainfall, soil moisture, solar radiation, temperature and humidity. The results of these measurements had to be displayed on the internet. The problem was no internet and no electricity. However, there was GSM phone coverage. So I started building a solar powered measuring station that used the phone network. To keep it small, I used an Arduino microcontroller board, which is probably the world's most popular hardware experimenting platform. With its easy programming interface, it guides many people on their first steps into the world of embedded programming. Soon I came to realize that the Arduino Uno was not optimized for solar power use. It runs at 5 volts and consumes much more power than 3.3 volt Arduino compatible boards do. I switched to the Arduino FIO board, hooked it up to a little solar panel and lithium polymer battery and connected a GPRS modem and that's how my first Internet of Things solution came to life. The FIO is ideal for prototyping. If you solder some headers onto it, it plugs into a breadboard and you can hook up all your sensors and stuff. But it's not ideal for real life use. All those loose wires. That's when I discovered the Grove connector system. Hundreds of different types of sensors and devices can be hooked up all using the same wiring. What if we had a single Arduino compatible board that you directly can connect your Grove cables to? If that board would also have capabilities to solar charge a battery, has data storage on board, and a real-time clock, it would be ideal. So I contacted my friend Gregory, who created the GPRSB, the modem I use on my FIO board. I asked him to design the one board that would do it all. And so, the SODAC board was born. Solar-powered data acquisition. SODAC. I've been using the SODAC prototype for a while now, setting up monitoring stations in some faraway places, I even set one up as a weather station on what is considered one of the most remote places on earth, the Machu Picchu, where it's still sending me weather updates every half an hour. I'm here now on the island of Zanzibar installing another one. My dream is to make this available for everyone. The Internet of Things is here and with this board we have the possibility to create connected systems anywhere. Solar powered so you can use it on a remote island or in your back garden or on your bicycle, or even attached to a helium balloon. Just anywhere your imagination takes you. Now you have the chance to help me realize my dream, and in return, you'll be one of the first to receive a Sodak board, to start you off building your own Internet of Things.